Hey guys, Aaron here of Apple Updates with a uh, guide on how to download and install iOS 7 on your iDevice. Um, so the first thing I want to say uh, is that this is not the whole version. It is uh, still in beta, so you know nothing here is final. Um, but yeah. Second thing I want to say is that you guys need to listen real close. Uh, okay, so in order to uh, download, in order to install iOS 7 Beta 1, you do not need a UDID. Okay, I can confirm that. I don't have a registered one, um, and I'm running iOS 7. Um, now, I do recommend. Uh, well, actually, once iOS uh, 7 Beta 2 comes out, um, iOS 7 Beta 1 will expire. Uh, and then you will be forced to update to um, beta 2. So uh, I don't really know if you want to um, do that because it could be that once you up that once iOS 7 beta 1 expires and you need to update to beta 2, um, you will need a registered UDID. So if you really don't care and um, you want you want to register your UDID, um, then you could go ahead and follow this. Um, but if you don't want to, then I recommend that you wait till uh, next. Do you wait till this fall um, when iOS 7 uh, is released? That way, you don't need to worry about uh, registering a UDID. Now, if you do uh, download this, uh, and you know uh, iOS 7 Beta 2 comes out, and you don't have a UDID, you will need to uh, either register or your device will be bricked, you won't be able to use it uh, until you get it registered. Alright, so basically in order to do this, you just uh, make sure you're running the latest iOS firmware. It's 6.1.4 for iPhone 5 and 6.1.3 for everything else. Uh, by the way guys, this is not for iPad, so um, if you're using an iPad, don't follow this guide. Next thing you're going to want to do is open up your computer and in your uh, web browser, go to IMZ. I'll, I'll have a link to this in the video description. But basically, it's <coughs> basically it's iModZone downloads. Okay, so then once you're here, what you're going to want to do is go into the uh, iOS betas. Uh, then go over here and find your uh, exact firmware. Um, make sure that it is the correct uh, firmware that you're downloading because otherwise it just it's not going to work. Then once you get here, you're going to want to either click on the direct uh, download link or click on the torrent button um, and this will let you download it as a torrent. And if you don't know how to do that, just download uh, uTorrent and then uh, just download it uh, in there. Alright, so once you're finished uh, downloading that, you're going to want to open up iTunes. Uh, and then this is a really, really important part because if, you, now, guys, take in mind, um, take into account that if you do not do this step right, you will break your iPod. Okay, so listen up. What you're going to do is you're going to hold down on your keyboard. If you're on a Mac, hold down the Option key. Uh, it also says the Alt. So hold down Option. Or if you're on a Windows-based machine, uh, hold down Shift. And then click on Check for Update. And then find the uh, firmware. Now let me just warn you guys. If you press uh, the Option key and then Restore um, iPod, you will not be able to use your iPod without registering your UDID. So it'll only work if you click on the, on, uh, if you hold down option and then check for update and then find your downloaded firmware. Now, um, to find your downloaded firmware, just click on your downloads and find your uh, IPSW uh, file. Once you've found that, click on open and it will go ahead and update for you. It'll take a few minutes um, and then you will be running iOS 7 beta 1. So that is how to do it. Um, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or uh, ask me it on Twitter. Um, all the links you will need will be in the video description.
down below the like button. Um, but as always, have a great day.